Today, I'm going to share with you the five best ways to make money as a solo player in GTA Online. In the number five spot, we have the nightclub, which is one of the two partially passive income businesses on this list. You can purchase one off the Maze Bank Foreclosures website for anywhere between one to $1.7 million. But I do suggest buying one in the city as it will make making money a lot easier. Now, there are two ways to make money with the nightclub. The first is through the nightclub wall safe. Depending on how much popularity your nightclub has, there will be a set amount of money deposited into the safe every in-game day or 48 minutes. The max you can earn is $50,000 per in-game day and it slowly goes down from there the less popularity you have. Now there are many different ways you can maintain nightclub popularity but there are two that are by far the best. The first is through switching DJs or hiring new DJs. Each time you hire a new DJ 100% of the popularity bar will be filled and for every time you rebook a DJ 10% of the popularity bar will be filled. The other best way to maintain nightclub popularity is by tossing out disturbances in your nightclub. These will show up as blue blips on your minimap and every time you toss one out, you'll get money and popularity. Now there is a trick to get these over and over. If you enter your nightclub while in passive mode, you will always get the troublemaker to toss out. So that is one easy way to increase your nightclub popularity. Also, if you get the staff upgrade for the nightclub, it will slow down the rate at which your nightclub loses popularity, which in the long run will help you maximize profits. And now that we've covered the wall safe, the second way to make money with the nightclub is through the warehouse. The way it works is you could hire up to five technicians and assign them to source products for you, which you could later sell for a profit. The technicians source the assigned products for you in the background, so all you have to do is be in an online session. Besides that, no work is required until the final sell mission. Now there are seven different products you could assign the technicians to source, but there are five that are the best. The only catch is that in order to assign a technician to source a certain type of product, you first have to own and set up a corresponding business in the game. But with that being said, here are the five best products and the businesses you need to own. First is cargo, which you need a CEO cargo crate warehouse or a hangar for. Second is sporting goods, which you need a bunker for. Third is South American imports, which you need a coke lockup for. Fourth is pharmaceutical research, which you need a blue stuff lab for. And fifth is cash creation, which you need a counterfeit cash factory for. If you've hired all five technicians and assigned them to those five products and purchased the equipment upgrade for the nightclub, the technicians will source you $50,000 worth of product every hour. So if you combine the earnings from the wall safe and the warehouse, you could make $100,000 per hour in almost entirely passive income with the nightclub. Now, although making 100K an hour with little to no effort is great, the business does cost over $10 million to fully set up. So I can't put it above the business in the number four spot on the list, which is the Acid Lab. The way this business works is you either purchase or steal supplies. Over time, those supplies are then turned into product, which you could sell for a profit. Now, in order to purchase the Acid Lab, you'll first have to complete the six first dose mission storyline. Once you've done that, you could then purchase it from Mutt at the Freak Shop for 750k. But in order to make the most amount of money with the business, you also need to complete 10 Fooligan missions so that you could unlock and purchase the equipment upgrade for 250 grand. With that, one batch of supplies will cost $60,000 and 1.6 batches of supplies will fully fill up the acid lab in roughly four hours. A full acid lab can be sold for $335,000 in an invite only session, but if you sell it in a public lobby with 16 or more people and rename your acid, the final sale will be over $500,000, which once again means that the business can make you $100,000 profit per hour. But unlike the nightclub, the first dose missions and fooligan missions pay out more than the business and its upgrade actually costs. So you could essentially get both for free. And it's because of that that I think the Acid Lab deserves the number four spot. But moving on from the Acid Lab, in the number three spot, we have the newly released Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. Now, in order to access the raid, all you need to do is be in free roam and wait for a call from Vin. Vincent. Once you get the call, you could then head over to the yellow V on the map and start up the raid. The raid is set up like a standard heist with five setups and one finale, and in total it takes roughly an hour to complete and it pays out $500,000 each time. Now while the payout is decent, it's not one of the main reasons why this is number three on the list. The main reason why the raid is so good is because one, there's no business required to set it up, two, there's no setup cost, and three, it only has a 48 minute cooldown. And so if you factor in all of those things, the raid is essentially a pure $500,000 profit for one hour of work that you could repeat quite often. I think it's one of the best additions we've had in a very long time to the game for new players and for veterans. But despite how good it is, the money method in the number two spot just beats it out. And that is the Dr. Dre contract. In order to access a contract, you'll first have to have an agency and have completed 
one security contract. Once you've done both, you could then start up the VIP contract, aka the Dr. Dre contract. Now the contract is like a large heist. You have three mini heists and two finale missions. It takes roughly an hour and a half to two hours to complete. And in total, you're going to be paid out 1.1 million dollars. That means that if you could do it relatively quickly, you're making almost $700,000 per hour from the contract alone. And so that's great money alone, but the other benefit of the Dr. Dre contract is in order to do it, you have to have an agency. And the agency also offers two other great ways to make money, which are security contracts and payphone hits. The security contracts pay anywhere between 30 to 60K, take about five minutes to do, and the payphone hits pay out 45k for a simple assassination mission. So while the contract is great by itself, if you can mix in all three, it is a great way to make money. But there is one thing that just beats out the Dr. Dre contract, and that is the Cayo Perico heist. Now, in order to do the heist, you're first going to have to own a Kasaka submarine. But once you have that, you could then start up the Cayo Perico heist. And what it is, is you're essentially sneaking onto a private island, taking loot from around the island and a primary target in a central compound. And then if you could escape the island successfully with all the loot, you could make anywhere between one to 1.6 million dollars. And because it only takes about an hour to do, it is by far the best way to make money in the entire game. Now, because the payout isn't a guaranteed amount like the Dr. Dre contract or the Cluck and Bell farm raid, in the past, I had dropped it down to number two because sometimes you could only make $850,000 to $900,000. But when you consider that there are quite a few times that you will make $1.5 million or more, this is by far the best way to make money in all of GTA Online, especially as a solo player. Now, unfortunately, there is a two and a half hour cooldown when doing it as a solo player, so you can't do it back to back to back. But during the cooldown is a great time to do the Dr. Dre contract, the Cluck and Bell farm raid, and everything else on this list. But with that being said, that is the top five best ways to make money as a solo player in GTA Online. I hope this video helped. If it did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace.